Records, you have a call on 5-0. standing out in front of the auction office because we know that you, you boring people at home who are up this late at night watching auction credits want to know what goes on at TV48's auctions. Your little inquiring minds want to know. So first, we will take you to Charlie's Bargain Barn and look for Charlie. Let's go. Hi, we're in Charlie's Bargain Barn right now, and as you can see, there are a lot of people here trying to get good bargains. You are... Ter um, my name is Terry. Just Terry. Proprietor Terry, my friends call me. Just Terry? Just Terry. Okay, well, just, Ter just Terry. How did you get roped into working here? It's a long story. I started out many years ago working in a bargain barn over in India. In India? In India. Was it... Was it quality stuff like oh, this? Oh, no, no, no. We find, we've tried to do this in the past, and, in, and over the years we have found the upscale shopper shops the barn. The yuppie, so to speak. The high income level person. The person looking for quality merchandise at a quality price. So, well, now, now how, do you, how do you get this stuff? Like, where does it come we from? We have buyers shopping the world markets, even as we stand here speaking, folks. Every single day we have boats being unloaded down at the riverfront. They come from all over the world. They come through the Erie Canal, through the Panama Canal, through the the nasal canal right on up through onto the river we have staff who unload these boats every day so that we can bring quality merchandise to the viewers of WCET well I can see they do a damn good let job. me show you please let please me show do, you do lead on can we I'll tell you one first time available here in the barn a moon rock lamp Oh. Oh. Not available in stores anywhere, only available here in Charlie's Bargain Bar. And this came from what country? This, this, is, this is a moon rock, came from the moon. Moonesia. Moonesia. It's from Moonesia. Five cases of grapefruit and gin, who give me five bucks? Two for five bucks. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, folks. Orange and gin, normally $4 a case, 12 one-bottle cases, Four bucks. Now I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Two, four. You get stuck on it, aren't you? This hurts me. This hurts me deeply to say this, folks. Two for five bucks. Oh. Two for five. We were wondering what you bought at the auction. Um, my wife bought them. Maybe you should talk to her. Oh. <laughs> don't you want them? Oh, I guess. I don't know. I think they're for her. Oh, well, what did you buy? Well, we bought a jersey, ML Harris's jersey. Mm -hmm. And I have an Easter basket here. Oh, and some pretty. executive some folders and notebooks. Right. That's right. Well, I bet you watch the auction all day to find these values. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Most turn, of on the day. A, turn on a three? Most of the day, yes. What do you think of the auction so far? Oh, I think it's nice. Uh, go home and watch some more and come Probably. back tomorrow? Mm. Probably. She was up to 1.30 watching. <laughs> <laughs> 1 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Keep watching. I Thanks. will. Thanks. We're standing here with Officer Vince DeMasi. And what do you do here? You guard this stuff? I guard everything. That's, that's correct. Like somebody come in and steal something or not pay for something and try to walk out with it? No, we, we try to up, up the bids a little bit here. Um, I guess with uh, Back here you the, omni the bids? ominous presence of the uh, police officer here, we try to get the bids up as high kind as of possible. Kind of frighten them into paying Right, more. right. Make sure that no one... Kind of finger your gun. Right. You know. As you can see the sign here, no returns and no refunds, and we enforce that. I don't have a lot of time, but we have a cracked lamp. You know, this sort of thing always happens. Sell it. They'll never know the difference. Well, I tried to put glue on it, but it didn't work. Who cares? Hold, Who cares? Who cares? Just sell it. TV's illusion anyway. Come on. As you can see, there are a lot of people that have nothing better to do with their time. They're all over here. Look, here's a floor director, a couple of camera people. Uh, pretty dull stuff, if you ask me. So, like, right now, we'd like to thank you people for watching. God knows why you were watching this late at night, but we'd like to thank you nonetheless. Good night.